Okay, this is an excellent teaching case uh, for someone who has some interest in diagnostic radiology for any reason. X-ray chest of an 11-year-old uh, uh, showing a number of findings. The child is HIV positive and is also known to have active tuberculosis. Many features of uh, pulmonary tuberculosis are visible on this X-ray. So what are the radiological features of TB on chest X-rays? Well, some of the most common radiological features of tuberculosis are consolidations, lymphadenopathy, cavitations, scarring, fibrosis, granulomas, pleural effusions, traction bronchiectasis uh, caused by scarring and fibrosis, loss of lung volume again caused by scarring and fibrosis of lung parenchyma, displacement of hyla and fissures is also common. Uh, many times only one or two fissures are visible and there are times especially in case of early infection where chest x-ray appears absolutely normal. This x-ray though is a good example of uh, TB because it shows many radiological features that should make you think about the disease on the x-ray alone especially if the patient is HIV positive. The most obvious uh, abnormality on this x-ray is the presence of pulmonary infiltrates commonly known as consolidations in left upper zone and if you look closely there is uh, within this consolidation there is a thick walled air filled KVT and this is the thickness of the wall of the KVT. There is another but uh, a smaller cavity in upper zone of right lung. There are enlarged lymph nodes visible in aortopulmonary window. Uh, frequently unilateral hilar uh, lymphadenopathy is present in case of TB uh, but it can also be bilateral and same is true for consolidations. Dense nodular densities are present in this area. Uh, you'll also notice multiple small calcification in right mid and lower zones these indicate calcified granulomas all findings together should make you think of tb another finding that you should not miss is the partially collapsed right lower lobe right cardiophrenic angle is not visible all findings together should make you think of tb again a number of uh, reported uh, tb Cases increased sharply in mid and late 90s as a result of HIV. Individuals with, H, uh, with AIDS are highly susceptible to all sorts of infections, which of course include TB. TB is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Uh, it is highly contagious and it spreads from one person to another person via airborne droplets. In many otherwise healthy individuals, the bug is usually kept under control by the immune system and latent TB develops which means a person is infected with mycobacterium tuberculosis but there is no active TB. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is an acid fast bacillus. The bacteria once inspired colonize within the lung parenchyma, usually in upper lobes. Some bacteria enter into the lymphatics and eventually into the lymph nodes where they encounter lymphocytes and start an immune, immune response. Their presence in lungs causes neutrophils and macrophages to migrate to the infected area within the lung. Uh, within the lungs, both neutrophils and macrophages are phagocytes, as you know, which engulf pathogen in an attempt to get rid of the infection. However, the bacteria are strong enough to survive within macrophages where they can multiply. Eventually, uh, macrophages die off uh, and disease can progress. Some of the neutrophils, lymphocytes and macrophages seal off the colonies of bacteria forming what are known as granulomas to completely isolate the infections. And later on granulomas may become calcified and some of such calcified granulomas are visible on this x-ray here. In many cases, once the bugs are isolated, TB remains uh, inactive for life. Uh, chest X-ray is not always the best diagnostic tool for TB and all the features mentioned earlier can be present in a number of other conditions. Uh, there are other tests that are performed for the diagnosis of TB. However, chest X-ray is a very important tool and no TB workout would be, would be complete without a chest X-ray. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच